Hello and welcome to set 4 of Skyrim. Uh, this set is going to be us hunting down all the Daedric artifacts that we don't have yet. Which is pretty much all of them except for the book and the skeleton key. Uh, the skeleton key doesn't count for the uh, Oblivion Walker achievement, by the way. So, don't, you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, uh, there are a few requirements before you start the entire hunts. <laughs> well, some of them have requirements, others don't. Um, first... There are four items you need to find. A silver ingot, a death bell flower, vampire dust, and a flawless ruby. The flawless ruby you could find, you know, randomly almost anywhere, or in the place I pointed out in one of the previous sets. <coughs> the death bell flower and the vampire dust can be found um, in apothecary shops or in Morthal. In Morthal you can find the death bell flowers virtually anywhere. And the vampire dust you can find from the vampires that are somewhere roaming in Morthal. The Silver Ingot you can actually find in um, Dragon's Reach. It's inside the Jarl's area. There are a few places there that have some Silver Ingots. You also need uh, a maximum level requirement of 30 to be able to do all of them. Anyway, let's get started with the first one, with um, Azura. To start this quest... You need to either find her shrine, which is right here, I haven't gone to it yet, or go to any of the uh, inns and talk to them and ask them about um, any rumors they've heard recently. They will eventually tell you about the Azura statue. Alright. Let's start chat out to her. Let's see here. Is that a <laughs> It's a vigilant finding a uh Flame Atronok. <laughs> Flame Atronoks are technically dangerous, so Bear in mind, horses like to defy the, the um, laws of physics, so they can run almost up sheer cliff sides. Almost. Oh, look, you a dragon. Get off. I'm near one of the dragon statues, so... Oh, my sword. Don't fuck with my horse, man. How you doing, girl? I haven't seen me hunt a dragon in a while. Well, since we're here, might as well mark it and get the shout. What is the shout? Anyway? Ice form. Ah! Uh, let's see what we can put this on to. Ooh! I'm gonna upgrade my Aura Whisper. Aura Whisper is amazing for Assassin Thief characters. Alright. 
Time for a little uh, sheer rock climbing. Wrong spot. Jump. That didn't work out as well as I hoped. <laughs> this will do better. <laughs> when you're doing this, make sure you have to become ethereal shot equipped. You don't want to accidentally fall and die. Wolves. <laughs> ah, you can see her. Sort of. The Shrine to Azura is a big, big freaking statue. Right there. If it wasn't for the snowstorm, I'd uh, you'd be able to see it better, see her better. Azura has seen your coming, traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Alrighty then. This is all you foresee, and we must play out. The Black Star is an interesting little side quest. Uh, it has two possible endings, depending on your preference. The ending I'm going to go for is actually the proper one. I'll explain that in great detail when we get the choice. <laughs> the Frozen Hearth. I like that name. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't... Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. Azura. Gods, it's all finally coming back to haunt me. What do you know about soul gems? They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail, except for one. Azura's Star, a Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Illinolta's Deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. Fun little side note, by the way. Until if memory serves, Azura is actually one of the few Daedra princes that aren't evil. Um, there are... Three, I believe, that aren't evil. If uh, memory serves. <coughs> I 
<sighs> Let me think here. There was a Zorda, and a that one. Uh, who else was there? Meridia, I believe, as well. But we'll find them out later. <laughs> oh well. If you don't know where this is, it's just north of the Lady Stone, in the middle of this lake. Huh. I never got that joke, till just now. The Lady Stone's in the middle of the lake, the Lady of the Lake. Wow, I'm dense. see here. Aw. Oh. Alright. Then I saw it equipped. What was that? I thought my finger kept slipping off the button. It's kind of annoying. Thank you. No resurrection for you. This would be kind of funny. Resurrection, dead. That was it. No! That was an accidental shot. Right. Let's go swim in and hide from these monsters while they, uh... Calm down and stop looking for me. I'm swimming so slow, jeez. Looks like a breathe on the water, so it's alright. Oh, anyway, that's better. Multiple size pots.